Some of the funding is going to a laboratory in the U.S. state of Colorado. Researchers there are hoping to learn more about dengue fever, possible links to climate change, and what can be done to prevent it from spreading. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi has insight. I have the option. It's a disease that's unnerved the people of Hawaii and caused many there to worry about their health, dengue fever. I've had the headache, I've had pain behind the eyes, I've had the fever. I know I've been exposed. There are people around me. There have been three confirmed cases. Dengue is also known as breakbone fever for the way it makes those who come down with it feel. I've heard someone describe when they had it as lying in bed with a very high fever and they had to turn the ceiling fan off even though it was 95 degrees because the air hitting their skin hurt so much. Mary Hayden is one of several scientists with the National Center for Atmospheric Research studying the virus that infects 400 million people each year worldwide and makes a quarter of them sick, mostly in the tropics. Dengue fever, although usually not fatal, shows no signs of letting up. It's very difficult to control. I mean, I don't think anyone argues that. We are learning new things about dengue. Andrew Monahan is focused on, among other things, the role climate change plays in helping the virus spread geographically. What we're really looking at is whether it can climb upwards in altitude, so kind of going into some higher elevation areas. When a mosquito bites a Dengue fever is transmitted by mosquitoes that become infected after biting humans with dengue virus in their blood. The insects reproduce in water-filled containers like tires. If we can get humans to remove breeding sites or oviposition sites for these mosquitoes, then perhaps we can reduce the abundance of mosquitoes and the risk of dengue. She says it would require a major public education campaign, like the push to wear seat belts decades ago, which reduced the number of car accident injuries. Changing human behavior, as you know, is a difficult task. Predicting the virus's future impact is a challenge, too. For a given location, the factors that contribute to Dengue really can vary from year to year. A dengue vaccine is now on the way. In the meantime, Hawaii's health department is spraying certain areas and residents are urged to wear long sleeves outside and take other protective measures. I actually have a tent set up inside of my house right now that I'm sleeping in, just for peace of mind, really. Something that's in short supply in dengue-affected areas at the moment. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.